Hello and welcome. Now I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I'm taking for two months of travel. I'm going to be going to a variety of different countries and I'm going to be doing hand luggage only. So these two bags are my two pieces that I'm going to take with me. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to show you everything that's inside. Hopefully this can help you if you're planning to go on a trip of your own. So first things first is the backpack. Um, you may have seen this one before. Quite a lot of people who go traveling um, grab this one because it's such a good backpack. It is the Far Point 40 by Offspray. I've had this for maybe four or nearly five years now used it on multiple trips it has a little bit of wear and tear but is still holding up awesomely and it is just such a good size it's cabin luggage approved so you can take it um on board with you and yeah it lies flat which is i guess the main benefit of this backpack compared to other backpacks they're usually top stuffing which means you have to just like put everything in like this whereas this one opens like a suitcase which you'll see in a minute um yeah 100% recommend do some research on which kind of bag suits you but this is a really good one to look into so yeah let's just show you everything that's in here like I said I'm going to be going hand luggage because it just makes life so much easier so what I've got in the first tiny little pocket is just a rainproof cover from Offspray that I use if it starts pouring down and also this strap which clicks onto your backpack here and then you can you like carry it sideways but I never really do it but I do just take it just in case I've maybe done it like once or twice in all of my traveling then you've got the middle compartment and in here I don't like to put a lot of stuff in here because everything's in the main compartment and if you put lots of things in here it makes it quite like bulky and puffy up the top which I don't really like but I have an adapter for all the different countries I'm going to have some sunglasses and I have a couple of different locks so I have two locks here which I use to lock the backpack itself the zips have these little um, silver bits on them so they're built to design that you can put thread a lock through and you can lock it and then I have another lock which I use for when I'm staying in hostels so I can lock my locker and things like that so it's just good to have a few different locks when you're traveling and yeah that's everything I keep in the first two compartments the next and main compartment is this one which is the big one um, in this mesh bit here I just have a scarf and also a beanie it's going to be mostly warm where I'm traveling, but towards like October time when I still will be in Germany and Korea, it might be get a little bit colder. And also I'm someone who really doesn't like to feel the cold. So I have some thermals in here and I have gloves and a few things that a lot of people think is unnecessary for the time of year that I'm traveling. Um, but I don't care. I'm prioritizing what I prefer, which is warmth. So beanie, scarf, and also a pair of gloves. And then we've got um, everything kind of compartmentalized. So I put everything in packing cubes because it just makes life easier and easy to find things. And I also use these dry proof bags because sometimes you might need to use them to store your electronics. But when I'm not doing that, I use them just to store my shoes. So this is the one pair of shoes that I'm taking. These are like um, just like flat sandal ones. They're not very good. I got them when I was living in the States and I'm planning to basically just wear them to death so they probably won't come back from the trip with me. So those are the first pair of shoes I have. The second pair of shoes I have are actually these boots. Now I've left them out because these are the ones that I will be wearing when I'm on the plane. Everything else that I'm taking is in this backpack including my plane outfit but these just don't really fit so these are going to be the ones that I wear when I'm transitioning to places. Uh, the reason I brought these boots is that I personally find them super comfortable. I way prefer them over sneakers and things like that when I'm walking around and visiting different sites. So between these and then I've also got the sandals for hotter days and then I have one other pair in this dry bag. And these are just like kind of some ballet flats. Now these are pretty old and scrappy. I'm also planning to kind of just wear through them. They're almost ready to throw out, but I'm just gonna take them with me anyway um, and wear through them and then probably just leave them and not bring them home because yeah, they're getting pretty old now, but I really like them because they're quite stylish and they're super comfy to walk around and see the sights. So those are my three pairs of shoes. Then I have some clothes, like the only clothes I leave out of the packing cube are these jeans just because I like to fold them like this and they don't get so many crinkles. So I have one pair of jeans, um, I have a sun hat because that's 
useful in the summertime. I don't really like it, but it's the only one I have, so I'm going to be taking it with me. The next thing I have is this raincoat that um, packs up into this little pocket of its own and it's just really good to have a raincoat because you never know when you're going to get caught in a rainstorm or if the weather just decides to turn a bit bad. I then have these packing cubes. There's five of them. They're all from Eagle Creek. You don't have to go for this brand. Do whatever you want. I got this brand because they're super lightweight and they have lasted me a really long time. I've had them the same as the backpack. I've used and abused them. Some of them are dirtier and like, you know, the labels peeling off than others. Um, but they are good quality. So in this first one here, I have two cardigans. I have like a light blue one and then also that's like cotton and good. it's going to be good for like the warmer days. And then I have one that is cashmere wool that is going to be that extra little layer in case it does get cold. I always recommend to have some kind of thermal or have something that is wool. It, it just It's just the best material ever because when it like rains on you and you're soaking wet but you're wearing like a wool thermal, you will still retain warmth because that's what wool does. It is an awesome material. So that's the first packing cube. The next one literally just has my underwear in it. I think I've brought about nine pairs. It's not so interesting. The next packing cube has all of my bottoms. So I am taking um, my black jeans, like I said, but then I've also got like a long black flowy skirt. I have one pair of just like denim shorts. I have one pair of like comfy shorts that I might use as pajamas as well as just like if I'm going to go for a swim or whatever, throw them on top of my swimmers. I have a black like pencil style skirt. Um, and I also have one pair of leggings. I think that's everything in there. I will put some overlay footage of the clothes on me so you can kind of see what they look like if you're interested, but that's everything that's in, in that cube. And the next one is my biggest one, and this is my tops. I have quite a lot of tops. I'm still considering whether or not to take this polka dotted one that I'm wearing because I do really like it. But apart from that, I have quite a lot of other tops in here, as well as one wrap around dress. Um, and then, yeah, I have a variety of different tops. I've got like the blue polka dotted one. I have like a one that does goes over your neck like what's it called halter neck style I don't know what the name is but anyway it's kind of like a pretty top I've got like a black um, singlet and then I also have more of a going out top which is a little bit of a red one which is high like shortcut but I wear it with high-waisted jeans um, yeah like a I've got like a stripy top and I've got one black thermal top in here a normal black t-shirt and then I have this really nice like blue button down one that's a little bit fancy that I like and I also have my green button down top as well I think that's all of them that's in there but I've brought quite a few different tops because I don't know I like tops and these are all the clothes that I wear all the time that's another thing is when you are packing just make sure you pack the things that you love and you feel comfortable in because just because you're overseas doesn't mean you're a different person who's going to want to wear all these different fancy outfits like stick to the stuff that you love because that's what you're going to ultimately want to wear anyway so that is what I have made sure to do so I brought all my favorite clothing with me this cube packing cube has a bunch of random stuff so I have a bra in here, um, I have a pair of swimmers, I have one of those microfiber towels, um, they're just super handy, I always have one of those when I'm traveling. I have two pairs of socks and two pairs of tights that um, like 60 denier and 100 denier to wear with my clothes because even though it's going to be summer I don't often like to put my legs on display so I usually wear most of my like skirts um, and shorts and things like that with tights. Maybe not shorts but definitely my skirts I wear with tights so that's everything in this cube and then I have this puffy jacket thing that I yeah, we'll just have as like that extra layer in case it gets cold and it's really good because it fits into this tiny little thing. It fits perfectly at the bottom of my bag as well where I often find it hard to fit stuff. And yeah, that is literally everything that is in here. Love this backpack. Very happy. Everything that I need fits in and 
Moving on to the next bag. So this is going to be more of my personal items. So I love this bag. It's by the Fox brand, which I don't know how to say and I don't really remember what it's actually called. And it's a Swedish company. I love this bag because it's tote style, but then you can also move the straps down and you can also wear it as a backpack. So I love that when you're out and about in the cities, like traveling around, you can use the tote for most of the time, but then say you want to be more hands-free, like you're riding a bike, you can then turn it into a backpack. So love this bag a lot. <laughs> um, this one I've also had for many years and it's just, you know, it's meant to be black. So you can see it's kind of faded, but it's made of like leather and like good quality material. So I haven't got like any rips in it or anything like that. First things first, toiletry bag, all my essentials. The only thing I want to get is a um, uh, conditioner bar from Lush because I have a Dr. Bronner's um, bar of soap which I use for like my body and also for shampoo, but I do want to get some kind of conditioner because I have really long hair and that is helpful. But then yeah, just my toiletries. I have this neck pillow which I find so good for triad sport. It's like um, memory foam, it's got this little click thing so I can just click it in and then I just fall asleep with my scarf wrapped around my head and my Beats headphones on and it's just the only way that I handle like those really long big flights. I don't know if you'll be able to tell because it hasn't like puffed up yet it's still like really rolled out I should probably let it sit out because it's usually all rolled all the time but that's my neck pillow I have bullet journal and my pens and pencils because this is always with me it has all of my information in it and keeps me organized reusable water bottle goes without saying because save the environment and save yourself some money hairbrush I have this little um, fold up backpack from Osprey, it's like ultra light and just unfolds to be like a little backpack in case I needed to grab some groceries when I'm out and I couldn't fit everything into this bag. I have my camera, it's a Canon 7GX I believe, it's what I used to use to film all my YouTube videos and I don't really know if I'll take photos or film much, I usually just take photos on my phone but I thought I'd give myself the option in case I randomly got inspired to film while I'm away. I have my Kindle, load that up with books. I have these three little pouches. Each one is for different countries that I'm going to. So I used to live in the UK and I used to live in America. So I have bank cards for both those countries as well as some coins and a few little pieces of information. And then I also have this other one that's got some like European money in it as well. So I just have that because I like to keep my currencies and all that compartmentalized and then I also have my wallet that I will transfer and use the things I'm using in there so like I'll take my Australian out and put it in one of here these ones and then I'll put the American stuff in there when I'm in America etc etc passport holder I've got a UK and Australian one and then I also usually have a few travel documents so I just have this because it all just fits in nicely and keeps things organized I also store my SIM cards and things like this, I take them in here so then when I'm moving between different countries and keeping like the one that I'm going to use when I come back to Australia. Little headphones that I keep in this little pussycat. I have my Fitbit. Um, I also have this bag which will eventually have my Anchor um, battery pack that is currently getting some more juice and I'm charging it. I have my charger for my camera in here. I have my phone. And then I just have some cords. So I have my Kindle charger, Fitbit charger, and my phone charger. And that is absolutely everything that I am taking with me. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hopefully this is helpful if you're trying to figure out what to take with you. But just try and pack simple, pack light, and just take the stuff that you know you love and you feel good in when you wear it. Don't try and make it complicated and don't try and think about like getting all those beautiful Instagram for holiday photos or whatever. Just take things that you love to wear anyway. So yeah, with all that said, I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye!